Hello, all of you getting this board? Okay, today we'll start in light. What? Chapter light. Okay, all of you listen, class 10. First, we will discuss uh, light. What is light? Light is uh, a form of energy which uh, gives the senses of uh, gives the senses of vision. That means uh, light. Due to light, uh, we can see the object or any objects or any material, any substances uh, which is visible due to the presence of energy. That energy is uh, light energy. So light is a form of energy which makes the object visible. Understood? So light is a form of energy which makes the object visible. So, as we discussed, we have light, it is what? Form of energy. Form of energy. Okay, which makes the object visible. So, first one is here, 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 light is a form of energy. Okay, so we can see the object due to presence of light. With no light, you cannot see any object. Okay, without light, you cannot see anything. Okay, so light is the energy which will give you, to make the object, which give you the energy which can be able to see the object. So here, so mirror, what is mirror? Mirror is a, a shining surface. What is this? Mirror is a shining surface. Mirror is a shining surface. It means when light falls on this mirror, then it is reflected back or it bounced back. The bouncing back of light from a shining surface that is known as mirror. So what is light? This form of energy which gives the sense of vision or the form of energy which makes the object visible. Number one, that is light. Second one is mirror. What is mirror? This is the shining surface which on which the light is reflected back or bounced back. Okay. So this is mirror. So this is a mirror. That is the shining surface. Then what is reflection? Then we discuss what is reflection. Reflection is a property of light. What is this? Suppose this is a mirror. This is a mirror, plain mirror, right? This is a plain mirror. This is a plain mirror. Why on the plain mirror? Suppose you are you are always looking the mirror at every day, every day morning you are looking towards a mirror and uh, see your face. So that is if you are using normally plain mirrors, okay? So here in this plain mirror, here when the light is coming from the source at the point of incidence, okay, and this is reflected back. When it is reflected back, this is a normal. So when light is coming from any source. And it falls on a surface. That surface is what? That is a plane mirror. Plane mirror. All of you are getting? Okay. So here this is a plane mirror. Plane mirror. Now in this plane mirror, when light falls on the surface, that is reflected back. This is the ray. That is the incident ray. And this is reflected ray. So incident ray. Incident ray, the ray which falls on the surface of the mirror, that's incident ray, and the reflected ray, the after ray reflection or after bouncing back of light up to the incidence, that ray which is coming from the mirror, that is reflected ray from the mirror, reflected ray to the mirror, incident ray, incident ray, reflected ray. No confusion. The ray of light which falls on the mirror, that is incident ray, after reflection it bounces back, that is reflected ray. So reflected ray and one is incident ray. Two rays are there. One is point of interest. Suppose A, this is one B, this is C. So now B A is incident ray and A C. This is B A. B A incident ray. I ray. Okay, similarly, here A C, A2 C that is reflected ray. So incident ray and reflected ray. I ray, I for incident ray or for reflected ray. Now the A is the point of incidence. A is the point of incidence. Here at the point of incidence, the ray is coming to the mirror. The to the mirror means the design angle of incident ray and from the mirror that is reflected ray. So this is the finish. Next we here incident ray, reflected ray, gun. Then third one is normal. What is normal? All of you are getting? Are you here? It is visible or not? Is it visible to all of you? So I hope you can understand this one. What I am telling 
try to understand here this is normal what is normal normal is here an imaginary line an imaginary line which is perpendicular to the mirror the imaginary line which is perpendicular to the mirror are their point of incidence so this is the mirror this is imaginary line this is 90 degree so this is normal okay at the point of incidence uh, where the light is coming and this is i ray and from where it is uh, light is coming back that is uh, r ray this is i ray another this is incident ray the ray which is coming to the mirror and the ray which is coming from the mirror that is reflected ray and this angle i and this r this angle i stands for angle of incidence between normal and incident ray and this is angle of reflection this is i angle and r angle okay so i angle angle of incidence so how do you write angle of incidence the angle of incidence is between that angle of incidence the angle between incident ray and normal the angle between incident ray and normal that is known as or angle of incidence and the angle between reflected ray and normal that is angle of reflection i angle r angle okay then next one is this gi and this is gr gi angle of incidence the glans angle of incidence this is your glans angle of incidence glans angle of incidence and glans angle of reflection right so when we want to have discuss here light mirror reflection incident ray reflected ray, reflected ray normal angle of incidence angle of reflection glans angle of incidence and glans angle of reflection what is glans angle of incidence the glans angle of incidence means what the angle between incident ray and mirror so this is your mirror okay this is the mirror so this is xy is mirror understood xy is mirror and this is i ray this is r ray this is also mirror so incident ray with mirror the angle between incident ray and mirror that is glans angle of incidence and in and reflected ray and mirror the angle between the reflected ray and the mirror that is your nas or the glans angle of reflection so glans angle of reflection glans angle of incidence this is glans angle of reflection this two light here is the glans angle of incidence now over now light mirror reflection look at here light mirror reflection incident ray reflected ray normal angle of incidence and angle of reflection also glans angle of incidence glans angle of reflection okay understood now here laws of reflection what is laws of reflection we discuss here laws of reflection that is uh, laws of reflection what in this mirror in a plane mirror just to discuss what are the laws of reflection in laws of reflection on what say that here i angle is always the first law so one you can say i angle is equal to r angle i angle angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection always in a mirror it may be spherical mirror or it may be plane mirror the angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection next law incident ray reflected ray and normal incident ray reflected ray and normal listen carefully all of you listen so the incident ray reflected ray and normal this three rays one is the image all of the image ray suppose light is coming means so that is suppose ray but uh, perpendicular normal is we are taking that that image ray but incident ray is coming reflected ray is also going from the mirror to the mirror or now the normal is image ray line but this is three rays that is incident ray reflected ray and normal the three rays lie on the same plane lie on the same plane same plane so this board is also one plane and this plane all the rays incident ray reflected ray and normal all lie on the same plane incident ray reflected and normal in the same plane the floor the floor is another plane the roof and floor is we can consider as one plane right like that but this wall is also one plane these two plane this wall and the roof sorry and floor these two are perpendicular to each other two planes like that two plane this is one plane this is one plane and this is vertical plane 
this is horizontal plane they are perpendicular to each other now this is law of reflection okay so in a plane mirror what happened in a plane mirror normally the image is formed and that image is what that image is normally virtual image what it is virtual image look at here just i'm drawing my pictures here suppose this is a tree okay so look at here suppose there is a point incident ray is coming and then reflected back like that this is back and this is a, a target point is here and this is a, so that is a i this is i right so in this i incident ray is coming reflected ray is going so this is a normal this is also normal a this is also a i angle r and i angle r angle look at here so this is object this is object and this is your image object and image so i i can see the object here because this is the actually this is a plane mirror in the plane mirror you can see the image at this side and i can see this image here but this image is formed not the actual meeting of the two lines of the reflected rays but appear to meet exactly not meet not actual meet appear to meet and looks like perhaps the rays is coming from that point understood so you can say that these two rays are coming from here so this image is so formed that is called virtual image not actual it is virtual so virtual image what is virtual image the image which cannot be obtained on a screen that image is known as virtual image if it is on is if the image is formed on a screen just like in cinema hall the screen on the screen the image is formed so we can say that that is a real image understood this is virtual image in every plane mirror every plane mirror i am getting that the image is virtual image but in case of a concave mirror also some is a convex mirror also some virtual image but in a concave mirror sometimes real image sometimes virtual image we'll discuss later okay so allow this over so virtual image also finished next one more important point that is what that is a regular reflection and irregular reflection regular reflection what is regular reflection look at here the regular reflection is here that is when the plane mirror is is there and on plane mirror if the incident ray if the incident rays are parallel to each other after reflection after reflection the reflected ray is also parallel to each other right so incident rays are coming after reflection reflected rays also coming back so if the surface is a regular surface then the reflection is also regular reflection if the surface is rough surface like this so the same incident rays are coming but after reflection the rays are not regular the rays are not parallel in strain rays are coming parallel but after reflection the reflected rays are not parallel the such type of re reflection is irregular reflection but here if the surface is purely completely plane surface as that is uh, the all the incident rays are parallel means after reflection the reflected rays are also parallel but if the surface is irregular rough on top here that is the uh, irregular surface not clear plane that irregular if the surface is irregular after reflection if the incident rays are parallel the after reflection the reflected rays are not parallel so due to irregular reflection we can see the sunlight in different places directly or indirectly you are getting the direct sunlight also you are getting the indirect sunlight because of irregular reflection when the light is falling on a stone it is reflected back 
when the light is first falling on a road it's also reflected back when the light is falling on the building also reflected back so due to irregular reflection the we can in the day time we can see different different object due to irregular reflection so irregular reflection has also valuable uses okay so we are using irregular reflection as well as regular reflection but maximum irregular reflection are used okay over so this is all for this here regular as a this is reflection part only next part we will discuss here okay that is a refraction part okay this part over